Hello, I am Seamus Dunahoo of Eve University, and this is an explanation of meta levels in EVE Online. While playing EVE Online, you may have noticed that you've accumulated quite a lot of stuff, some of which will have names that are similar to each other, but not exactly the same. Or if you're browsing the market, you may be looking at a selection of items available on the market, which have names kind of sort of similar to each other, but are not quite exactly the same thing. So if I'm looking at the large ba the large blasters, that's the battleship-sized short-range hybrid turrets, there's a wide variety of names in here. What's all this? Uh, if I go down to the projectile turrets, if I look at the artillery cannons, the medium artillery cannons, that's the large-range cruiser size, there's 12 different names in here. Half of them are 650mm, the other half are 720mm. What is all this? Well, what's going on is that there are much fewer uh, conceptual base item types uh, than might appear at first glance. It's just that many of them have fancy versions thereof. These fancy versions being a bit more difficult to obtain, uh, and in some cases a bit more difficult to use, but more effective if you can use them. That's where meta levels comes in. So, let me take as an example something called an Energized Adaptive Nanomembrane 1. Right. This is an Energized Adaptive Nanomembrane 1. What it does is that it increases the armor resistances on your ship. All four armor resistances, electromagnetic, thermal, kinetic, and explosive. It covers everything. Not as well as a specialized module that only does one type of damage resistance, but it's useful when you don't have a lot of module slots available and you need something to increase all of your resistances, at least to some degree. Right. Now, if looking at the Attributes tab, there's nothing in here about a meta level. That's because this is the basic version of the items, so players will consider this to be meta zero. As a matter of fact, you can, if we look up Energized Adaptive Nano Membrane 1, I need to spell membrane correctly. There we go. Uh, there are uh, blueprints for this thing on the market. NPCs sell the blueprints. You can go to one of these stations, you can buy the blueprint, and you can make Energized Adaptive Nano Membrane 1s. Um, ignore the Tech 2 blueprint, that's a leftover from ye olden days. I'm not going to get into the Tech 2 blueprint originals. Alright, so the Metal 1 stuff, you can get blueprints for them off of the market from NPCs, and you can go manufacturing this stuff. All right. There are fancier and more effective variations on this module, and if you go to the Variations tab, you can see all of them. Tech 1, Tech 2, Storyline, Faction, Officer, Dead Space, what is all this? Well, if you're looking at the Variations tab on any item's show info window, you can look at the Compare button, you can click on it, and that brings up a new window called the Compare tool. Now, I make like to make this window big. By default, it probably starts off kind of small. You will want to make it large by just left-clicking and dragging one of the corners or the edges. And what you will first see is the item name, the type name, and the meta group. The first thing you should turn on is meta level. And there's a variety of things on the left hand side. Just left click where it says meta level. And if it's not already sorted, you can left click a header to sort by that header. I like to sort things with meta by meta level with meta level zero at the top. Now, Meta Zero, as I mentioned before, is the basic version of the item. You can get blueprint originals for the NPCs off the market. You can man build those things yourself. Sometimes Meta Level Zero stuff also drops as loot from non-player characters. So the, all those mission rats that you're killing, if you bother to loot them, you will sometimes get Meta Level Zero items off of them. Meta Level 1 through 4 are fancier versions of this thing. 
and these only come as drops off of NPCs. All right, so if you run a lot of missions, you will, and you kill a lot of rats, you will get a lot of the level one through level four stuff. Level four tends to be the rarest. Level one tends to be the least rare, but all of them are more effective than the plain old vanilla meta zero. Oh, by the way, you can also turn on any of these other checkboxes on the left hand side so that you can start looking at the statistics and how they differ with meta level. So I can look to see just how effective the module will be. I can look to see how much CPU or power grid it's going to require. Oh, they all need one megawatt of power grid. I don't need to see that. Uh, I can see how much volume they would take up in my cargo hold when not actually fit. And look at that, the Meta Zero takes up 25 cubic meters while everything else requires only 5 cubic meters. Strange, but there you go. So you can use the compare tool to look at the different variations and actually decide for yourself, do the numbers look better on one particular module or another? Uh, is the Tech 2 really better, is the Meta 5 really better than the Meta 4? Now, uh, the Meta 0 can be manufactured by players. The Meta 1 through 4 only come as NPC drops off rats, and very common drops at that. The Meta 5 is also what is known as Tech 2. And this is a more advanced version of the module that can also be manufactured by players. I'm not going to get into the subject of Tech 2 production in this episode. Suffice it to say that Tech 2 production is very complicated and requires a significant investment of time, effort, and skill points. But the Tech 2 is only manufactured by players. For most players, this is the most advanced form of a module you're ever going to bother using. Everything level meta 6 and higher is a really fancy form of the module. And here in the headers, you will see that it belongs to the meta group's storyline, faction, officer, and dead space. Now, the storyline modules, let me dispel this misconception right now, storyline modules have nothing to do with storyline missions or storyline agents. Rather, the storyline modules come from what are called the Cosmos missions. I'm not familiar with the Cosmos missions myself, other than the fact that they are very difficult missions that can only be completed once ever in the life of any given capsuleer. Uh, the Cosmos agents won't offer you the mission a second time. So beyond that, I don't know much more about the storyline modules. Faction modules all come from what are called loyalty point stores. And let me make this window a little bit smaller. I happen to be docked in Pater Tech School, a Pater Tech School station, and in the station services, I can, I can click on the loyalty point store button. And here is a list of stuff that is available from the loyalty point store. They will all require some amount of ISK they also require a certain amount of loyalty points, and the only way I can get loyalty points with, a, with an NPC corporation is to run missions for that corporation. Or to run incursions, which gets me Concord loyalty points, and then I can exchange the Concord loyalty points for the loyalty points of any non-pirate corporation by clicking on the Exchange Loyalty Points button in the upper right corner of the Loyalty Point Store window. Certain loyalty point store purchases also require a set of other additional items. I'm not going to go into too much detail, further detail on loyalty points, but basically loyalty point stores are where the faction modules come from. So if I want a Federation Navy energized adaptive nanomembrane, I need to build up loyalty points with a Galente Corporation. If I want an Amatar Navy energized adaptive nanomembrane, I need to build up loyalty points with a some Amatar Mandate Corporation. Doesn't necessarily have to be the Amatar Navy or the Federation Navy in particular, just one of the corporations in that faction. Now, if you go into asteroid belts in 0 0.8 security or less, you will come across various kinds of uh, rats, 
hostile NPCs, usually the pirate rats, sometimes rogue drones, they will start shooting at you. Uh, they are of a bit of an annoyance to mining ships, but the mining barges at least have drone bays, so they can deploy light drones to shoot down any pirates that bother them. In high security, the light drones will suffice. The pirates in asteroid... the NPC pirates in asteroid belts are not particularly powerful. By the way, rat is a short form term for NPC pirate. Uh, the word pirate, when not used with any other qualification, usually refers to a player pirate. So, you can shoot down rats in asteroid belts. In high security and low security space, they usually don't drop anything interesting, just the meta level 1 through 4 stuff. Out in deep null security, where the security level of the system is well into the negatives, you will sometimes have rats with special names, and when you kill those rats, they will drop, sometimes drop officer modules. So out in the asteroid belts of deep null security, that's where you're getting things like Brokara's modified Ener energized adaptive na membrane, or Brin's modified energized adaptive nanomembrane, Tuvans, Aramens, Selins, Racer's modified energized adaptive nanomembrane. So that's where the officer modules come from. The last category that I haven't talked about yet are the dead space modules. And the dead space modules come from uh, what are called DED complexes. They're kind of sort of like missions in their structures out in space. You warp to them and you land on an acceleration gate. You jump through the acceleration gate, you shoot stuff. Jump through the next acceleration gate, you shoot more stuff. Right. Uh, and sometimes the stuff you get uh, out in null security, the null security complexes, you get dead space modules. So that's where the dead space modules come from. Actually, come to think of it, you might be able to get some dead space modules in... Here, hold on. A Neocom map, world map control panel, the star map tab, the stars sub tab, DED dead space report. And this is a location of the static DED complexes. That is the complexes that don't actually go anywhere, they're there all the time. So, for example, uh, if I mouse over Alterner, there's a couple of DED complexes, Angel Creocorp Mining and a Minmatar Contracted Biofarm. Right? Uh, so complexes like that, you can also get, I believe, dead space modules. Not as good as the ones you can get out in null security. Uh, you'll notice that there are no glowing dots out in the outer fringes of space. So I presume that the complexes out there have to be scanned down or something. They're not there all the time. You have to scan them down probably with core probes or something. Or maybe they're cosmic anomalies, so you just run your ship's onboard scanner to find them. And when you find a complex, you can run the complex and get dead space modules out of it. So that is an introductory explanation of meta levels and where those fancy types of items come from. Uh, the meta six and higher items are never sold on the market. There are no market entries for them. So if I go back to the market and I'm looking at the energized plating, all I see here are meta zero through five. If I want to look for anything higher than Meta 5, I have to go to the contracts. And I can look for available contracts. I can specify all regions. Uh, contract type. Alright, I go to the buy and sell. I can specify all regions, all contract types, all item categories. Availability public. I only want to look at contracts in high security, and let's suppose I am looking for an energized adaptive nano membrane. And once again, it does require that I be able to spell membrane correctly. There we go. And there are contracts that want to buy. 
Oh, here we go. Uh, Imperial Navy Energized Adaptive Nanomembrane. Some people are selling this in AFEND for 60 million ISK, others in GETA for 62 million ISK. Uh, and I can look through all the various pages of items on offer for the different varieties of Energized Adaptive Nanomembranes. I can right click, I can show info on the particular item being offered, look at its attributes look at its other variations. From the Variations tab, I can right-click on any of these and select Find and Contracts, and I'll just look for that specific uh, subtype of the item. All right. So, Selin's Modified Energized Adaptive Nanomembrane, somebody's selling one in Amar for 800 million, another in Jita for 830 million. And there's an auction where the current bid is 700 million ISK, and the buyout is 840 million. You can even right-click the item in question from the uh, compare tool. So you, if you're looking at the numbers on the compare tool, you can right-click that row and find it in contracts. In the case of something that is available on the market, you can also right-click on that item from the Hold on, let me sort this by meta level again. In the case of items that can be found on the market, you can right click the row and it'll say view market details or finding contracts. But if it's not available on the market, if there's no market entry for it, you'll just see finding contracts. All right, so I hope that clears up meta levels for you. Usually meta one and two stuff I will reprocess unless it's something that doesn't have a whole lot of variety in the meta 1 through 4 range, like shield hardeners, afterburners, or smart bombs. But otherwise, meta 1 and 2 stuff I reprocess. Meta 3 and 4 I stockpile or sell. And I hope this clears up the meta levels for you. In the meantime, thank you for watching.